Nice's image as the beautiful capital of France's sun-drenched south is now thoroughly shattered. As the city tries to come to terms with the dozens slaughtered on its seafront, more accounts by eyewitnesses and those who were caught up in it are emerging. We saw a truck coming down the promenade, uh, probably 30 or 40 miles per hour, um, careering from side to side. We didn't know what to do, so we, we turned around as everybody else did. Um, it got quite close to us, so um, we decided to, well, I decided to jump over the wall of the, the promenade, um, landed on the concrete, which is a bit, bit further down than I had anticipated, um, hence, hence my wrist, um, but we were very lucky. As the police continue to patrol, guard and investigate, other details are emerging. Many of the injured were taken to safety at this nearby hotel, whilst the terror and the mayhem continued. Hotel Negresco, there behind me, one of the symbols of chic and leisure of French Riviera, witnessed unspeakable horrors last night. The place is still cordoned off by police, painstakingly gathering evidence of the attack that took more than 80 lives and probably changed this place forever. Fidel Pavlenko, Euronews, Nice.